romantic cool happenings. Everything I find cool and amazing. Your one-stop channel for all your accessible tech solutions. Hey there, subscribe to my channel and also press this bell icon so you never miss any new updates cause whenever we upload new video you will get a notification on your phone. Okay, one would notice that on the most part creating an account with PayPal is accessible as I mentioned up to the point where you clean your birth date or date of birth you know you, you would uh, realize that the birth date clean as it is not very in fact not accessible at all there's no option or dial to change so let me show you what happens when you reach you will first need you know, to as I mentioned tap on uh, New user will get the option to key in new details like your phone number after which you'll have to enter the verification phone uh, code sent to your phone number to your phone and later you get this the following options which are also accessible up to this point. You need to set up the, your basic details and this is where it gets rather, I would say, inaccessible. Now, you first need to key in your password. Let me show you what you have to key in. The accessible parts or the accessible uh, doable sections of the PayPal account registration or new registration, new account registration uh, menu sounds like this. Let's set up some basic details. Button. Please type carefully and create a strong password. So your password is accessible. Please type carefully and create a strong password. Button. Email, email, text field. Email is accessible. Password, password, secure text field. The password is accessible. Continue. Button. Okay, so I'll get back to what I'm kidding my email and password. So see you guys in a bit. Button. Let's fill in your account profile. Let's fill in your account profile. Please provide accurate details. Can be, please provide accurate nationality. First name, first name, text field. Last name, document type, document number, document, last name, first name, nationality. Please provide accurate details that can be verified. Button. Okay, so once you are dunking in your details, you have to key in your email and password, email, PayPal email and password for your new PayPal account, you will be taken to the next screen where that's where it gets a little, I would say, inaccessible, but it's still doable and this is what the main demonstration is about. I'm going to show you how you may access this inaccessible part and finally get through to the next step of the PayPal account registration process. So what to do is, uh, let me check. 12 minutes, 19 seconds. So, Stop recording. Button. Okay, let's see where we are. Once we key in, I'm picking in the email and password for the email, uh, PayPal account. Please provide accurate details that can be verified. Then we're going to key in accurate, key in more, all the correct details, which will include your name, the, the S as uh, like uh, well please provide accurate nationality you have to key in your nationality which is accessible first name first, first name, name accessible last name last name text field last name which was also accessible document type document type which the type of document you are going to use to create your account with it could be your passport number it could be your social security number whatever Doc your legal documents used in your country or region you are at. But the inaccessible part is below this. Document number. Document number. Date of birth. Date of birth. Continue. Date of birth. So you tap on date of birth. Selected. December 
2001. You see, it says December 15, 2001. That's it. It may not be your birthday. I'm sure it's not. What you do is, this part is inaccessible. See, I'll tell you why. Double tapping, you can, there's no, uh, you know, the rotor dial gauge that's not appear where you can select your date of birth. So if you can select your date of birth, how do you proceed to the next step of your paper account creation uh, menu or the process, right? What you do is let's find the birth, the date, the date of birth here one more time. Document type. Document number selected. December 15, 2001. When you hear a voice or mention the date of birth, Selected December 15, 2001. December 15, 2001. What you do is just um, uh, you need to um, navigate by touch or explore the screen by touch and place a finger directly and where voice or mentions the date, the, your apparent date of birth. Selected December 15, 2001. Now voiceover is uh, focused on the date of birth. Switch off voiceover by doing a, you know, either a triple click on the home button, if you have a home button, or triple uh, clicking the side button on new iPhone model. So let's switch off voiceover. Oops. Now, the key is to imagine that your date of birth is located in, on, in three columns. The left column, the middle column, and the right column. So to change your date of birth without voiceover, first place your finger towards the leftmost corner, the first column, which is the date, the date. What you do is put your finger and slowly drag your finger towards, if let's say it's uh, now it's December, so if you drag below, drag your finger towards the bottom of the screen, it will go from December to November, October, and so on and so forth, it goes, the months decrease, right? So. Let's say you want to set your date of birth as October. So let's put it, set the month first. Place your finger towards the leftmost column of the screen and where the voice is currently focused and drag your finger towards the bottom of the screen. A uh, couple of you will hear. You know, on some iPhones you can hear, hear the dial being moved. It will be like clicks. But in the case you can hear, in this case I'm using an iPhone 6, I may not be able to hear the clicks, I'll have to base on my uh, <laughs> judgment. So let's drag my finger down a couple of notches. December 11, so the month is changing. So let's see what changes next. Let's uh, do it again. Switch of voiceover. As you see now the month has changed to July, which means I brought my finger downwards on the screen. I placed my finger at the leftmost corner of the screen, just at the location of where also mentioned the date, and I, the leftmost corner would be the date. Now the month would be somewhere towards the middle column, which would be at the middle of your iPhone screen. Also exactly below where the cursor is located, so let's turn on voice one more time and do that for the month. Let's try it for the month now. Selected July 11th, 2001. Okay, July. Let's say it's July. Now let's change the date. The month we have just changed. July, let's change uh, the date. That's the month. Let's now try it again for the date. That's the year, so I've changed the year and the month. So now we need to change the date. So the date should be towards the leftmost corner. I've managed to change the center and the rightmost corner, which is the month and the year. Now let's change the, the date of uh, my so-called date of birth. <laughs> 
um, date has been changed to 7 so you see it's uh, it may sound a little tricky but once you get the hang of it a couple of tries it becomes easier for now for instance now the date has been changed from December 11 2001 it's now March 7th Selected. March 7, 1997. March 7, 1997. So in this way, you can change the, your date of birth. And once you're done with that, then you'll be able to proceed with the, to the next screen. Continue. Therefore, continue. You'll be able to proceed with the registration and creating your very own PayPal account. Okay, hope this demonstration is useful and you're able to make something good of creating a PayPal account. Even, some of the, even if some of the parts of this uh, app may not be accessible with voice. So, see you again. Have a wonderful and amazing day ahead. Bye-bye.